What do Christians believe? An introduction to the four essential doctrines of Christianity. Many people claim to be Christians today, despite not knowing what Christians historically believed. Some people say they believe in God and are therefore Christians. Others say they are good people and are therefore going to heaven. While such descriptions are indicative of the modern popular conception of Christianity, they have very little in common with Christianity as it was originally established. Indeed, when Christ was asked what was most important for the follower of God, he responded by saying, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Matthew twenty-two thirty-seven through 40 ESV. That is, Jesus didn't say that belief or goodness were what, God, were what pleased God. Instead, he said that what pleased God was love for, that is, devotion to him and love for one's fellow man. Put more simply, being good or believing in God aren't the same as devotion to God and his image bearers. Genesis 1.26 Further, our devotion to, love for, God and mankind implies four questions that every Christian must be able to answer, at least implicitly. These four essential questions are as follows. Under the first part, a Christian loving God, we have the questions, who and what is God? How do we know God and how to have right faith in him? Under the second part of a Christian loving his neighbor, we have the questions, how are we to interact with other Christians before God? How should our relationship with God affect other relationships? These four essential questions were answered in Christianity's earliest stages such that they became the focal points of many biblical passages. In particular, the answers to these questions comprise the four essential doctrines of historical Christianity. Unfortunately, many modern people who call themselves Christians are completely ignorant of the details of these doctrines, and some e haven't even heard of them. The four essential historical doctrines of Christianity are divided into two groups according to Jesus' division of the Great and Second Commandments. First part, a disciple loves God. The doctrines that are under this uh, commandment are the regula fide, which is Latin for rule of faith, and the so, uh, doctrine of sola scriptura, Latin for by scripture alone. Under the second commandment of a disciple loving his neighbor, we have the doctrines of the ecclesia, Greek for assembly, and douluo, Greek for I am a willing slave or servant. The regula fide is part of loving God and that it defines and describes the God we love. Sola Scriptura is part of loving God and that it defines the primary sources by which we know God and how we use those sources. The Ecclesia is a part of loving mankind in that it describes how and why Christians gather together. Duluo is part of loving mankind in that it characterizes Christians' attitude towards others. We invite those who are interested in authentic historical Christianity to investigate these four essential doctrines of the historical faith. See the link in the description box. Thank you for your time. For those of you who are in Christ, go with God and be blessed. For those of you who are not, may you come to an understanding of the true Christ of history, the only real Savior of mankind. Amen.